copycats, copy dogs, really. Follow Jack. Little ditty about Jack and trash can. Old man, hello Jack. I see you bought, brought a friend with you. We are from the same forest. He also lost his home. Jack, did you bring me the details? Sure, here they are. Great, let's go try to fix the crane. What are you talking about? Also, oh, that's just light. I thought, I thought you had like cauliflower growing out of your forehead. Follow Bob and Jack. Uh, I don't know Bob, I only know old man. Would you like a bagel, sir? Sue, let's see what we have here. So if you'll excuse me, I'm also gonna eat a, uh, a bagel. Just eat a bagel real quick. Jack, you know where to look for. Bring them to me. There he goes. Oh, if you'll excuse me, I'll, I'll follow him as well. But I'm gonna take a shortcut. Search for the detail in this container. Find a detail from the crane. I have no idea what that means. I will press E on the waypoint though. Like I think it's probably this thing right here. P uh, yes, a pinion bag. Okay. Uh, Jack, I have found a pinion bag. Well done, let me take this part while you find the other one. What the heck? It's a bit of a fetch quest. Hey NL, you made it to number three on Reddit. What does this mean? Oh, skateboard, you genius. Squeep. It's a post about bald people. Ah, oh, okay, dude, you don't even know. Oh, if, excuse me, I need to use flair to find a detail. You don't even know how many times I got tweeted uh, yesterday about that, like, Prince William being named the sexiest bald man in the world. Oh my god, man. Like, I'm not mad, because it is, it's kind of like, you know, once in a lifetime news. But like, Hassan tweeted me, and it, you know, I got a lot of, like, Hassan's very popular. He gets a lot of replies to his tweets and, and so on and so forth. So all day was just like, you know, notification squad was, was popping off. Um, but then, like, on top of Hassan linking it to me, it was linked to me at least, I would say, somewhere between 500 and 1,500 times independently by, by other people. At least, I would say, like, every 10 minutes, another person was like, I got a quote tweet that was like, NL was robbed. It might have been the, the most active my Twitter account has ever been. And I'm literally, like, not being facetious in the slightest. It was crazy. But also, my personal opinion, sexiest bald man in, in history. Uh, well, I don't know about in history, but right now, dude, Stanley Tucci, come on. I got nothing against Prince William. Well, you know, kind of. Um, but Stanley Tucci. He's, he's classy. He's good in the kitchen. He could make you, uh, I feel like he could make you a beautiful, uh, like, salmon filet and also uh, a cocktail on the side, and he'd, he'd actually, like, listen. He wouldn't just wait for his turn to talk. He would listen to what you were saying. Okay, sorry. Wait for the crane to be repaired. You brought the details. Don't go too far now. It seems to be fixed. Let's check how it works. Mark Strong as well. Mark Strong is just a British Stanley Tucci, though. They're the same guy. We've done it. I got nothing against Jason Statham. He's a, he's a handsome guy. I mean, they, I guess the way that they did it was like, it was just who searched, like, name plus sexy. Like, whoever had the most search activity for that won. I mean, they succeeded, right? Because they, they got, like, a staggering amount of attention out of the quiz and stuff like that. Um... But I think if they did, like, an actual... Let me put it this way. I think if they did a bracket, then they, uh... They would have found that Stanley Tucci, Mark Strong, probably The Rock, Jason Statham, they, they would have been up there for sure. Here we can set up a headquarters to plan our sorties, but we will need electricity to open this door. 
J.K. Simmons. I mean, I was upset because like, let's not say upset, but like some of the uh, the people that were on the list, like John Travolta was like eighth and Bruce Willis was like 11th. They're actually 70 years old. We will need building materials. I think they can be obtained at that construction site. Okay, lead the way. It is a good sign, I guess, that, you know, like, if you're bald, you know, you, you have the opportunity, if you take care of yourself, to age, like, like a fine wine, I suppose. But, you know, I was like, come on, man. Bruce Willis? <laughs> he's, like, I don't mean anything rude by it, but I'm like, he's, he's so old. Stanley Tucci is 60? Yeah, but look at Stanley Tucci. You ever see him when he's wearing that vest and he's got his sleeves rolled up? He's got these forearms who've got freaking uh, like ramen noodle veins on them. The the man is uh he's been making pasta with those with those hands, man. And yeah, I agree. John Travolta does not get to count as being a bald man because he pretended not to be bald. I'm pretty sure he's he's been bald since like 1992, and he's worn a two uh, toupee the whole time. He doesn't get to just take the toupee off now and and get that bald valor. Me and my fellow baldies, we took the public opinion hit for years, making baldness cool, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Yoink me too, guys." Yeah, come on. Okay, sorry. We should try to open this container. There's probably a lot of useful things in here. There should be tools at the construction site. Let's go get building materials and find out how we can open this container. Sure, sure, sure. Don't get me started on Moby, dude. Um, he's Vision? Yeah, he's... John Travolta showing up. Hey! How we doing, fellow baldies? Get out of here, John! I know you were wearing a piece. Then then when you did that, was it um, from Paris with Love or whatever it was called? They were like, wow, John Travolta shaved his head for this role. And I was like, there's no, there's no stubble on that, dummy. All he did was take his piece off. Come on, man. You, you closed the door on me? <laughs> I'm your ally. Yo, tell me you're bald without telling me you're bald. Anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. It doesn't matter. This is what people are here for anyway. Okay, here we are. Let's split up and find everything we need faster. Yes, sir. Find building supplies and bolt cutter. What is this song? Ooh! Ooh, it's got a little squam on it. Favorite sitcom post-2000. <sighs> Seems you can open the container with this thing. What's wrong with this guy? He's walking weak in the knees. Does he have the Joe Biden uh, remote vibrator in there? Seems like the helmet protects the construction worker from my throws. I should try to drop the barrels so that to knock the man down. Of course. He's dead. I don't have any uh, ropes, so I'm out of here. See ya. Find building supplies. Here are the building materials. That's convenient. I doubt they will let me sneak the box away. I should try to spill. You're gonna. You're gonna spill a bunch of cement, and then when they're stuck, you're gonna drop a bundle full of two by fours on them. This is now officially murder. There is no way they they could not conceivably walk away from this. This not even manslaughter, uh, criminal negligence causing death. Oh, water. Yeah, it's water, of course. You'll excuse me, I'm, I'm running. 
I could not stop running. That's bad. I have been I've been captured. Malf's latest tweet is great. Can I get a, a TLDR on on Malf's latest tweet? I eagerly await the response. It's about Hey Lady. Oh no. Hey Lady plus beer cans. Dude, we're dealing with something similar to what I imagine he's got going on. People like that live above us keep throwing stuff off their balcony or like they keep their compost on their balcony and then when it gets really windy, like it blows the compost on the our patio. It's it's so annoying. Free compost. I don't know why they keep their compost up there. Take the first box. Uh oh. Hey lady just knocked on my door and wanted to warn me that I might find some beer cans on my balcony. That's terrible. Okay. I've spilled the water. I've spilled the water. You'll never catch me. You'll... You'll never catch me. You caught me. <laughs> oh, he's still going off. It's extremely annoying. Yeah, hay lady is Mouth's upstairs neighbor. She throws hay and, and straw off of her balcony all the time. And it falls onto his balcony. And even if it didn't fall onto his balcony, you shouldn't be throwing your garbage off of your balcony regardless. It's just like, you know, it's not something you should do. But then on top of that, I mean, we could do something there. I, I don't know what we're supposed to do here now, man. We got like a cursed seat. Like, the, the fact that, uh, you know, she said you might find some beer cans off your balcony. What are you doing drinking beer on your balcony, throwing the cans off the, <laughs> off the, like the 30th floor or something? That's crazy. Okay, I got I got a plan here. Being drunk? Yeah, but like, I don't know. Here's the thing, like, you know, I, I think Hey Lady is like 50 years old. If she was in her, uh, if she was in her 20s, you would be like, drunk and mistake. Uh, like, still don't do it, but I can sort of understand. Her being middle-aged, I'm like, honestly, she should be in federal prison. You got you got to have a better example than that. Plus, yeah, you're too old to be drinking beer. You should you should be drinking wine instead. Skateboard with load. Hold E to use. The perfect crime. Look at that. Look at that. Stupid nose, no age. Yeah, but I, oh, jeez, man. How am I going to get out of here, though? I feel like, um, you know, it's not like it's not a crime if you're 50 versus 25. But, like, you certainly reach a point at which you should know better. And it probably should have been when you were, like, 12. But, you know, you, you do. I think you change the the way you feel about it based on whether they're, like, your, uh, you know, your mom's age or your little brother's age. I mean, I'm, I just got to sprint it, man. I, th I think I got to maybe, like, just eat a bagel real quick. Go to the marker? Yeah, but I'm going to get captured. Or maybe not, I don't know. You can't see me. He can see me? 
Okay. Go to the mark sheet. <laughs> There's a builder again. Seems like this wire can be used as a weapon. So we've given up all pretense. Now, th these guys are not even involved. Um... Okay, I'm dead. These guys were not involved in the disappearance of my family. We just need their tools. This is impossible. Disarm the builder. Skateboard, please. Thank you. Head eyes, I'm dead. Is that you? Are you the builder? Are you walking on metal? Are you a raccoon? Anyway, that's, it's infuriating, man, for sure. We don't have a hay lady, but, you know, we still get detritus on occasion. Squeep! I gotta be honest, skateboard kind of makes me want to throw up. I don't know if I'm going to get back on that. <laughs> Unless I have to. To do so, aim the camera at an object. Hold left mouse button to move the object. Drag the bare wire onto the metal pipes to shock the builder. Mission, mission failed. Never mind, he's dead. He is dead. Okay, find Jack. As long as I don't have to take him back, I got no problems. Here's here's Jack. Oh no, he's he's causing chaos. <laughs> Oh no, he's twitching. The face bomb was so good. Hello. Oh, you've already found everything. Yeah, man. It's no problem. Let's go find one more box. I suppose if you insist. I mean, I, I did find two for the record, but like, you know, if you want a third one, by all means. Thanks for the ride, brother. Oh, never mind. Here's the second box. Yep. Drop the ventilation shaft. <laughs> Try to knock down the ventilation shaft with something. You think a, a bowling ball will, or a billiard ball will work? Yep. <laughs> that man had a family. Now his, his neck is... Compressed by a freaking ladder. Okay, you're, you're, again, dead, for sure. You severed some, some very important arteries there. You know, if you'll excuse me. Uh, he's getting up? N no, he's not. We got the last one. It's time to go home. Incredible. Can I can I help you out here, brother? Like, this, this might be a little bit of a long walk back. Yeah, these guys, they're just doing their jobs. Like, the the kennel owner, that's like a different situation. The exit is blocked. Oh, the police are looking for us. I will try to distract them. Uh, again. I believe this is murder. You're gonna, you're gonna laugh. And you're going to believe it. I'm on top of my headphone cord. There we go. Imagine being this uh, 911 operator. Look, I mean, look at this. You sent a, a front end loader in there. It's on fire and there's sparks shooting out of it. It's, it's a little excessive. It's time to get out of here. <laughs> I'm just going to mess with him. Yeah, try pulling it now, dummy. That's not a front end loader. Dude, I don't all yellow industrial vehicles are front end loaders. To me, they're that's what they are. The ones that knock things over, the ones that dig, they're all front end loaders to me or bulldozers. Anti-raccoon police. 
get into the van. Okay. Can I drive? There's some noise coming from this van. Oh, if you'll excuse me, I'm, I'm very good at this. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. It's a raccoon. No, it's the squirrel. It's a beaver? Norbert, thanks for rescuing me. Deliver the boxes to the junkyard. <laughs> they, that do be a beaver. You see beavers now and then. I know it's like a Canadian stereotype. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Can you watch yourself, please, Mr. Audi? Mr. Who do you think you are, Tony Stark? See beavers now and then in, in Vancouver. Beavers. So many geese. We're coming up to like my favorite part of the year. In the early spring, the geese have their uh, their babies. And then after like, you know, maybe April and, and early May, you get to see like two adult geese walking with like 10 baby geese. And like adult geese are kind of scary. But baby geese are, are cute as a button, man. Also, I'm not sure if this is like a, a story that's almost like too Canadian, but there's like an insanely busy street in Vancouver and uh, two geese and their flock were trying to cross it. And uh, like people got together to block traffic in order to direct the, the geese across. And I have never seen in my life so many BMW convertibles like honking simultaneously. It was, it was a beautiful scene. We do that with swans here. England confirmed. I don't think geese are evil at all. I think, you know, they're... I mean, I they're kind of aggressive, but also, like, can you blame them for being, like, aggressive? What I see all the time is people will, like, be like, Oh, look at this goose! And then they'll, like, walk up to it. And then the goose will, like, go, you know, put his wings up like this and start honking. It's like, yeah, of course. Of course the geese are, you know, they're not domesticated, man. Like, you can't just go up to any animal you see in the wild and expect that it's going to welcome you with open arms. I got bit by one as a kid. It hurt. Can I ask, uh, like, how the bite came to pass? Like, were you perhaps antagonizing the goose? It's not, you were probably not like asleep in your bed and then the goose broke into your house and bit you, right? I'm assuming the goose was probably like just hanging out on the grass somewhere and you, as a kid, you were like, ah, and then it probably, it probably bit you. We've made it. We have not made it. Sequence broke. Skateboard too far? I don't know what you want from me. Got one. <laughs> I can't believe I figured it out. I, I thought for sure we were toasted. If it works, there's no need to drag resources across the entire junkyard every time. What are you talking? What are we doing? I don't understand what's happening, man. I'm so stunned I solved that puzzle. We'll fix it later. What are you talking about? I don't even know who you are. You just appeared in the house after I caused a ruckus. Cut the chain. I do have bolt cutters like Fiona Apple. Pick up the blueprints, zero of three. Everything is stuffed with boxes. When we save the old raccoon, we will deal with this rubble. Look, there are some blueprints. This mission is still in development. Building a windmill is not possible at this moment. We are fixing this problem. Please wait for the next patch, March 28th to 29th. Objection. Or, uh, objective. Build a windmill. Wait a minute. Yeah, today's March 28th. Let's build it. We have enough resources. 
All right, well, I think we've reached the end of uh, Wanted Raccoon for the time being. Scrambled my brain a little bit, but I but I had a I had a good time. <laughs> Certainly an interesting game, and uh, will we return to it in the future? I don't know. I don't know. But either way, it's always nice to check out new stuff. If you want to check out Wanted Raccoon for yourself, it's available on Steam uh, in early access. Very ambitious game, for sure.